This is a bag of pure zinc strips. I was sent this bag to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you $13. So inside, there's 10 pieces of this zinc anode strip, um, and it's wrapped in tape with some, kind of feels like cellophane, so you will have to cut through this tape to release it. So here's five of them. So they're, you know, relatively thick as strips go, but still bendable because it's zinc. So dimension-wise, we're looking at 24.4, um, so basically one inch um, in length that way. And then six inches here. Um, Thickness-wise, we're right at one millimeter for thickness. That's 0 0.04 inches. So you can use zinc for lots of things. Most commonly um, used physics experiments to show how you would make a battery, usually with a lemon or a potato. And to do that, you also need copper um, in addition to zinc. Now, a lot of people will use a hot-dipped zinc galvanized nail, but this guy here is pure zinc, so it just has a little more purity and potentially more surface area than a nail. We have a zinc strip. We have a chunk of copper. And we have a grapefruit, very acidic. Now, we don't want them touching inside, but we want them well inside. All right. Our assistant can hold the probes to the copper and the zinc. Look at that. We have a volt. Yippee. Hey, let's put three of these together and get three volts. But the probes alone do not make electricity because you need chemistry of zinc and copper and acid. No grapefruits were harmed in the making of this video. Actually, a lot of grapefruits were harmed in the making of this video. All right, so we have one volt on that one, one volt on this one. I don't know if this will even fit over that giant piece of copper. Oh, it's gonna be tight, okay. Copper to zinc. Test the zinc to copper now. 1.9 volts. Nice. All right, let's do one more. All right, how many amps are we getting? Very small amount. 0 0.03 amps. Okay, three grapefruit. Negative sides over here on the zinc. We have this copper attached to that zinc in series. This copper attached to that zinc in series. So we get about three volts total between the two, or between the three grapefruits. We have about three volts. And that lights up this tiny little LED light.